Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called the Hakuna Matata. Now, if that name seems familiar to you, it should, because it comes from the 1994 Disney animated movie called The Lion King. In fact, it even takes its inspiration from the main character Simba having this song sung to him by Timon and Pumbaa. Now, I like to think that this is a sunrise coming up over the savannah where you'd actually have seen these animals live. However, the choice is up to yours, up to you. Now, oh wow, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, it's like we're gonna shake the cocktail and we're going to start this with a shaking vessel. And now we're going to start this with a little bit of coconut rum. Use your favorite or whatever you can get your hands on. In this case, I'm using some Malibu and we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Your second ingredient will be a spiced rum. Now in this case, I've chosen to use a little bit of shipwreck rum. It's what I happen to have on my shelf. Use what you really like and you'll get some different flavors when you do that because the shipwreck rum is a little heavier in vanilla flavors, whereas say the Oakheart or the Bacardi is a little bit less sweet, but you get a bit more spiciness. Again, new ounces, right? But we'll use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Your third ingredient is going to be a banana liqueur. Now, in this case, I'm using McGinnis brand creme de banane and use whatever you like. Uh, for example, this one is very much an electric yellow and it's a very sweet. But if you use something like a Giffard, if you can get it, you have more of a straight banana flavor than you will in this. I like to call this artificial banana. And you know what? It still tastes great anyways, but we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. And to be clear, this stuff actually reminds me of the banana popsicles I used to have as a kid. Absolutely fantastic, I love those things. Now your next ingredient is going to be pineapple juice. And I'm choosing to use a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. Um, use whatever you can get your hands on. Just remember that it'll adjust the sweetness of the cocktail. And this is going to be a sweet cocktail as you can tell by what you see here. But we're going to use a total of four ounces or 120 mils. There you go. Now, one of the reasons this is as dark as it is, is because of the type of spiced rum I used. This is a darker version of spiced rum. Some are a little bit lighter. So what we'll do now is we'll add some ice to this and then we'll just shake it with a smile for a good eight, maybe 10 seconds, maybe. So fill your glass all the way with some ice, give it a smack and shake it with a smile. Once you've shaken it to where you are, or to where you are, <laughs> to wherever makes you happy, take the lid off and put this off to the side. Because what we're going to do now is we are going to grab ourselves a 12 inch double rocks glass. Um, if your glass is smaller, you could actually split this up between one or two glasses, totally up to you. And then just fill this up with a little bit of ice. I have some nice, big, chunky ice there. And now I'm going to use grenadine. And I'm going to put this in first. Now I'm using some Rose's Grenadine. And apparently it's really, really stuck on. Wow, uh, David's having one of those moments. And that's a reason why you should make sure that you actually clean the rim of your, uh, any type of liqueur or syrup that you're using. So what we'll do is we will use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now you can adjust this to make this fit also the color variation that you want and the level of sweetness. And I'll make sure that I clean that before I put it on. But what we are going to do is grab ourselves our Hawthorne strainer and we're just going to pour our mixture on top. And that looks fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful gradient of color. And if you want, just take something like a teardrop of a spoon and you can give that a little bit of a more of a mixture for you, just to give you that beautiful sunrise effect. And now we're just going to put the sun right on the edge here, like so with an orange slice. And here you have a Hakuna Matata. Mm. Oh, really good. You've got the coconut, you've got the banana with those faint spices and it's sweet. And you know what? Really, really good. If you like sunrise style cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right up here.